Right now I want to show you how to connect the RAM-B-202-G1 to the back of a Garmin Street Pilot 3 series cradle. So here you have the Street Pilot 3. Uh, it's a blast from the past. It's one of the older GPS's, automotive GPS's. And you can see here on the back of it is its automotive uh, cradle. So let me just take that out of the GPS. There we go. And you can see on the back of this cradle here, you have four holes that will actually match up to four holes on this plate. And then you have the hardware here to connect it all together. One thing to note about this uh, cradle, which is actually uh, can be purchased separate if you don't have this cradle anymore, and the part number is 010-10304-00. That's Garmin's part number. But one thing you will notice is it has this little tilt base here. Uh, as it slides forward and back. Now, if you don't need that, which is designed to uh, use this base connection to one of the Garmin uh, adaption plates, if you don't want to have that on there, all you need to do is remove this uh, screw here, and then this whole thing will just slide straight out. I recommend if you're just going to connect this uh, plate to the RAM mount, you take this bottom piece off. But what we're going to do is connect this round plate to the Garmin um, cradle and you can see there what I've done is spun this around so it lines up all the holes on the back of this cradle so there's the holes let me just tip that up a bit more and then the uh, ram mount plate connects straight onto the back of that and then all you have to do is use the hardware included uh, I'll show you that but one other alternative instead of this mounting system is using the RAM-B-347-G1 which is this round plate uh, replaced by this uh, rectangular plate which is just the amps hole pattern so you can see here this just connects up perfectly to the holes on this round plate so it's just a little bit smaller and what it allows you to do is just connect directly to these holes like that and then you just got a smaller plate but the uh, round one's a bit more universal with a few extra holes but that's another alternative as well but let me show you how this cradle connects to this plate so what I'm going to do now is take this off and connect the whole thing together so now all I need to do is put the last screw in there and I'm actually putting the screws into the cradle uh, because they have a little recess that fits perfectly on these screws and I'm actually using the medium length screws because you can see they are almost flush with the end of the round plate then I can just drop that in there, tighten this up and as I mentioned before I've also removed the bottom piece off of this cradle so there you have it, now I've got that all connected I can take the GPS and just clip that back in and then if I need to I can just do up this little screw here that just holds it in tight and there we have it. I now have a RAM ball on the back of this uh, cradle. Now I can just take any mount, any RAM mounting system, tighten it up onto an arm and there we have it, a mount system ready to go for use in a vehicle if I want to use a suction cup or on a motorbike or whatever else. So there you have it. That's how you put a RAM-B-202-G1 onto the back of a Garmin Street Pilot 3 cradle.